Depressed people have read it who have been so depressed that they couldn't get out of bed and completely stopped taking care of themselves. How did you overcome this and got back to engaging with life? I explored alternative medicine, really gave me a passion and something to look forward to. I explored psychedelics for depression and anxiety, got off some prescription meds, and decreased other prescription meds, my doctors know of the studying and guided me safely off, I don't recommend people just take psychedelics, research it thoroughly, LSA, LSD, DMT and psilocybin mushrooms are MAOIs, so for people taking SSRI antidepressants and many other medications, it could be fatal, cause serotonin syndrome. It would require not consuming alcohol and having a certain diet for a period of time. There are other psychedelics that aren't MAOIs, that takes research to learn though. Another thing that helps is setting small goals, just try to do one thing, get out of bed and walk to the mailbox. If I expect a package to come, it's easier to get out of bed for the mailbox, mine is a couple minutes walk so once I get started, I'll find most the time I'll want to walk more, or at least hang outside for a while and enjoy fresh air. The goal of walking under 5 minutes will often become a 20 minute or longer walk. Clean one thing, then I can come back to bed, but turning on some music and I'll continue cleaning. These things don't always work, but they are very helpful when they do. Wait, you can get out of this. Drink massive amounts of water. This will make you need to get up and go toilet which is good because it 1. Makes you get up. 2. Flushes out all of the cortisol. Cortisol is a hormone produced as part of the fight or flight response which as animals is a very useful tool but as modern humans triggers anger slash frustration, fight, or feelings of I don't want to be here slash I just want this to be over slash I'm just going to hide from everything, flight. If you can exercise as well you'll get endorphins and feel good but start with the water and piss your way through the day. Whenever I feel unreal like that, I just inflict pain on myself to remind me I'm still here. Usually, it's bitting or cutting if I have a box cutter nearby, but sometimes a few punches to my head are enough to drag myself out of bed. Yes I know it's unhealthy. Yes, I know you care about me and are willing to listen to me even though you don't mean it. Yes I am working on improving myself, dieting, exercise, and having a lizard is most of it, by myself because good luck finding a therapist that's both cheap and isn't a 3 hour drive away. I haven't harmed myself in about 2 weeks which is an ok start for now. Now if I could only get rid of this damn insomnia. Set very small daily goals. Bribe yourself. Example, I have to at least swish some mouthwash if I don't have the energy to actually brush my teeth, and then I can lay back down. I just kind of force myself with all the will I can summon. It's almost physically painful once my alarm goes off each morning, but once I do it my day has improved 1000% already. I use a visualization technique that seems to work on me for a lot of things. Whether I'm trying to dig deep for motivation to get up, go for a run, cook something proper, or avoid things like drinking or whatever. I like to picture myself in two hours time and think of the person then. For example, if I try really hard to cast my mind forward I ask myself who is going to be happier, the person who has been in bed for the past two hours, or the person who at least got up. I can still let myself be depressed during the day but if I at least get up I know I can shove it aside. Not the most insightful answer and fuck is it hard to do. I write it down. If I don't, those negative thoughts become louder and feel very real. Last time I couldn't get out of bed was over a year ago. Three days just laying there, only getting up to pee and even that was work. Then my kid came up to me, said I stink and wanted a hamburger. 12 at the time. Got up, took a shower and grabbed him food. Well I got a pet and that started to give me a routine to catch on to cause I couldn't stomach the thought of them dying. Then I got to be a bit happier with their little antics and overall with support of my family I got out of it. Haven't yet. I realized I stunk like a mf and took a shower still depressed and giving up to reddit helps. Time and the minimum help I would allow myself at the time. 
Slowly I just accepted I would have to keep going to feel different eventually. Take a shower and contemplate. Well I just stared into space wondering nothing. Tears out my eyes feeling disconnected from my own feelings and just being numb. It actually felt as if I wasn't in my own body. And later, just cry to sleep. Woke up early, started going for a walk. Talking to people even I didn't want to. Drugs. I am on two antidepressants and got myself in contact with a psychologist which was long needed. My mum needed to quit her job to look after me before that. For me it is almost literally telling myself fall down seven times, get up eight. The first step is the hardest and always is. I haven't lmao. My daughter gave me the strength to get out of bed. It took some time. But I got there and she brought out my happiness again. Walking daily. Doesn't matter where or how long for, just walk and take in the scenery. I find it such a happy distraction. Adderall, shit's amazing. I didn't have a choice. I had to work, so I forced myself to get up and put on an act like everything is okay until I could get home and get back in the bed. The right medication. Super small baby steps. Then making it a point to be kind to myself and not minimize my accomplishments. So something small like today's goal is brush my teeth, then next day my goal is brush my teeth and then at some point today get up and throw that soda can that's been sitting there for 3 weeks in the trash. Then take the time to congratulate myself, good job you got up and threw away a can. Some people may think that's small but it was hard for you and you did it anyway, so be proud. You'd be amazed at how much easier things become to do if you acknowledge the amount of effort it took you, and instead of beating yourself up about it taking the time to celebrate your small accomplishment. It feels good it makes you wanna do more. So eventually instead of throwing away one can, it's two, then three, and eventually taking the trash down to the dumpster. Made friends on Discord while playing games. Felt so low that I basically stayed in my bedroom for three months, wouldn't eat for days at a time, barely had the energy to use the bathroom etc but honestly, I don't know I think it was people wanting to see me plus college that got me to eventually go out and try getting back into things. I'm glad that I got out of that even if I still get very bad days and I kind of promised myself to never get that bad as it was a vicious cycle of crap. I changed my number and only gave the new one to the least toxic people in my life while simultaneously scaling down on my cocktail of psych meds. Every day I would talk or text with someone who wasn't toxic to me and I took vitamins. I sat in the sunlight. Now I'm off meds and my life has never been better, but never go cold turkey off of them. And never judge yourself if they help you. But also don't just accept that one doctor is right. Everyone is different and meds definitely help some people. But if you are suicidal while already on a bunch of pills from the doctor you should at least get a second opinion. I didn't. It wore off eventually. I was lucky enough to have parents who were willing to give me a wake up call and tell me that I was wasting my life, and who would drag me places and make me meet people and do chores. I hated it at the time, thought they didn't understand, but it was exactly what I needed. My mom is still there to pull me out of my funk when I feel like there's no point. I had an old boyfriend who would always say there is no try, there is only do or do not. That phrase is total bullshit. I tried. Over and over and over. I failed and tried again. It sucked. It sucked hardest because not one single person in my life cared. They all knew what was going on and I didn't even get a single text, let alone phone call. People who I bent over backwards for time and again couldn't muster anything more than I'm sorry you're upset. I tried reaching out to redditors and it was suggest that I was an asshole because if everyone you meet is an asshole, you're the asshole. So I went back to bed and tried to stop thinking about suicide but it was there every fucking moment. But then I tried again, and I got up. I walked out onto my lawn barefoot. I looked at my feet and somehow that made me feel just a little bit better. That night I listened to the crickets chip and I left my windows opened. I convinced myself that my life isn't that far off from a pretty okay life that I would be happy with. 
I've been doing better since that night. I still have no friends who care, and I have a toxic family, but I have a house, a cat, a boyfriend, two jobs, good grades. Life isn't bad, it is just rough. Spring is around the corner and I will go to the beach in the summer.